Hey everyone, it's Karen with the Yes Please Paper Crafts. And in this video, I'm gonna be creating a scrapbook layout for Spellbinders using a new collection from Becca Feakin called the Layered Floor Bouquet Slim Lines. And this collection is absolutely gorgeous. It features eight die sets with florals and also some decorative pieces that you can use on your slim line cards. And I just had an amazing time creating using these dies. And I wanna start off by sharing a couple of cards that I created. This first one, I used the layered daisies and I just had a lot of fun cutting out all the pieces and layering them together to create a very three-dimensional floral arrangement on the front of this card. And I just think that uh, these dies were uh, just so much fun to work with. And it was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. At first, I was a little bit intimidated, I have to admit, <laughs> with all of the pieces, but there was a guide that showed you how to layer the flowers. And so once I got started, it was, uh, it was pretty easy and I just had a lot of fun creating with these die sets. Okay, so the next card that I have here, I used a couple of different die sets. I used this half slimline oval, which had this uh, decorative piece right here. I used that on both sides of my card. I also used the sentiment that was included as a part of this die set. And then in addition to using that, I used this layered cherry blossoms down here and uh, created this card. And I just think that this one turned out so pretty. <laughs> I just love the gold foiling and uh, the colors that I use on this card. It almost reminded me of a, of a ocean scene. And uh, I just think it's really beautiful. <laughs> so uh, if y'all are wondering how I colored the paper that I used for these cards, I actually did use some shimmers products and uh, I just love shimmers. I'm gonna be using some shimmers in my scrapbook layout as well. I use them to create the florals that I'm gonna use on my layout. Uh, but for the daisies, I use this Vibes Mustard Seed. I also use this Angel Wings. And then for the greenery, I use the Shimmers Evergreen. And uh, uh, one of the things that I think is really fun about creating with uh, these shimmers or any watercolor that you have and using dyes is that you can just lay your color out in a color wash. And I'm gonna show you all an example here. I just laid my color out with a paintbrush and I added some water and I just played around with it. And then uh, you can use this paper to cut out your dyes and it really does add a lot because it gives a lot more variation than just using a plain cardstock. And also with shimmers, it has a lot of uh, shimmer and sheen in the watercolor. And so you get a really pretty shimmery shine to all of your paper. <laughs> and I think that's super cool. So um, I did create that uh, paper and I just I used some watercolor paper. I did part of it green, part of it yellow, and then used that one piece of paper to create the flowers for this card. And then for this card here, I used a combination of Peacock Plume, which is an, a Shimmers, the Blue Lagoon Inkling. So I combined these two blue colors up here at the top and I kind of layered the lighter one and then the darker one. And then for this color down here at the bottom, I used something called Can't Elope. <laughs> I think the Shimmers has really funny names, <laughs> but uh, this is an Inklings and I used that for the bottom and also for all of the florals. So that's what I did to color all of the cardstock or the watercolor paper that I used to create these two cards. I think the only pattern paper I used was this background paper, which was from a Vicki Booten uh, paper pad. And uh, I just love the variation and the um, texture and the dimension it gives when you use watercolor. I just think it makes it so special and so pretty. <laughs> Okay, so uh, those are my two cards. So let me go ahead and show y'all all of the different die sets that are included in this collection, just in case y'all wanna check this out. And I'll have links in the description below to where you can find all of these dies on the Spellbinders website. Okay, so the first one we have here is the Layered Cherry Blossoms. And actually, maybe I should also show you the dies as well. So I have the dies here. Okay, so this one here is the Layered cherry blossoms, which is this one here. And uh, this is all of the dies that are included, all of these right here. So you have the branches, 
some leaves and then all of the pieces to make the flowers. Okay, so this next one is called the Half Slimline Oval. And that's one, that's this one here. It has a sentiment, which is beautiful friend. I think that sentiment is absolutely gorgeous. And I loved creating that uh, using the gold mirror card. And uh, I just love the gold uh, using that for the sentiment. And then it also has this half oval slim line. And I think that's super pretty. Okay, so uh, the next one we have here is called the Sweet Leaf Mini Slim Line. And that one is, uh, I believe, right here. Okay, so you have this really intricate background die with a uh, die to cut it out. And then there's a banner die and a couple of florals here. Okay, then we have this one here, which is I Pick You. It's a half slimline bracket. And I think that saying is really cute too, that sentiment. So this is the I Pick You. And then there's also this uh, slimline uh, die as well as the, the outline die. Okay, and let's see what else we have. Okay, so on the next page, we have the Plant Joy. And the Plant Joy was the other sentiment that I used for this card here. I did use this sentiment, Plant Joy. I think that's super cute. <laughs> and uh, let's see, where did that one go? Okay, so that one's right here. So there's the half slimline die and then the sentiment here. Okay, next we have the Layered Lilies, which is this one here. And... Uh, that's all of these dies right here. There's some leaves and then also the florals and then the stem. And then we have the tulips, which is this one here, the layered tulips. This is the one I'm going to be using for my scrapbook layout. And it comes with a whole bunch of uh, petals and then uh, the leaves, the stems. And this is the piece that goes at the bottom of the flower. There's another die around here somewhere and I was cutting stuff out and it's somewhere around here, but I'm not exactly sure where, but <laughs> there's another die that's missing from there. We also have the layered daisies, which is this set right here. And that's the, the die set that I used to create this card. And it includes all of these florals. So the petals to make all the florals, uh, a leaf die and a couple of stems. I think it's really cute that they have that curved stem and that's one of the things I loved about the card that I created was that I used that curve stem with the flower kind of hanging down. And uh, I think that that flower with this little um, green piece right here, that's really adorable. <laughs> okay, so those are all the die sets that are included. And I'll put links to all of that in the description below. But that's everything that's in the new collection from Becca Feekin. It's called Layer Floor Bouquet Slum Lines. And I just think that this, these dies are just absolutely amazing. <laughs> I had a really good time creating with these dies. And um, they, were, they were a lot easier to use than I was thinking they would be when I first got started. Uh, but uh, they do have a guide. I'm going to show you here. My printer didn't really print this out really well. It was doing something weird with the color. But <laughs> this will give you an idea of the guide that you'll get that tells you how to put the flowers together. And so uh, here is, you know, you have three different dies with the petals and they show you the different shapes and then kind of how to combine them together. And uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was really easy to do. And you don't necessarily have to follow this. I actually did make some of mine a little bit different just to kind of give more variation in my flowers because you know, flowers are part of nature. They're not always going to be perfect and exactly the same. So I think it's okay to put them together in a different way if you'd like to do that. And I did actually do that for a few of mine. I'm going to show y'all I've been busy making flowers and uh, here are a bunch of the flowers that I made. And so I have all of these tulips that I've created. And then I also have all of these leaves that I created. And I haven't completely finished putting all of this together because I wasn't really sure how many leaves I wanted to add to my tulips. And I'm gonna do that as I create my layout. But I have all of this cut out. I did use a combination of paper that I actually created using some Shimmers products. And so this pink flower and this light, um, yellow flower kind of with a gold sheen that comes from the shimmers inklings minor minor 49 or minor <laughs> minor minor 49er <laughs> and then also the pink is this lover's lip 
And so those are the colors that I used uh, to create uh, these flowers. And then I also used some pattern paper. I have a yellow pattern paper. It's a tone on tin plaid. Also a uh, orange paper. And uh, the green was a plain green cardstock. Then I had a couple of lighter cardstocks I used to cut out some of the leaves. And I used a couple of uh, sprays to uh, give variation in the color and add a little bit more because you can see this was the color it was before I colored it and then I made it darker. Okay, and I used um, two different sprays. I used a bamboo leaf, uh, which is a spritz and the Vibes Palm Reader. And I will put a link to shimmers uh, shimmerspaints.com in the description below if you wanna to uh, check out any of these shimmers products. But the shimmers are really amazing and uh, just love all the sparkle and shine. They're super easy to use. They're all water-based uh, watercolors and paints. And uh, yeah, they're really a fun to create with. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about our layout here. Uh -oh, something sticky <laughs> on my picture. Okay, so um, this is the picture that I'm gonna be using for this scrapbook layout. This is a picture of my two dogs, Bella and Lily Bell. Uh, this was taken in my backyard in the house that I lived in, Texas. So this picture was probably from about 2014. And uh, so <laughs> I just love this picture of my girls. I thought it was super cute. And so we're gonna be using this picture. And I was trying to figure out like what paper to use for the background and for this layout. And I, I remembered that I had picked up this paper pad. I think I picked this up during the Black Friday sales last year. And this paper pad is from Stamperia. It's called Circle of Love by Johanna Rivero. And it's super cute and adorable. And it's got a very watercolor type vibe to it. And so I found this paper in there and I thought this paper would be perfect to go with my flowers. And I'm going to be just layering these flowers on my layout, probably across the bottom. So I haven't quite figured that out yet. I do want to cut this picture into a circle and then I'm gonna use a couple of papers behind it to map that photo. And I'm gonna use some alphas and go around the circle for my title. And uh, so that's kind of the plan. All right, so now that I've showed you everything that I'm gonna be using for this layout, I'm going to go ahead and get started, but y'all know I can't scrap and talk at the same time. So I'm going to speed this up and then do a voiceover later. And uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is to work on my picture. I wanted to cut the picture into a circle. So I got out my Creative Memories custom cutting system. I'm using the circle patterns and it comes with this template that you can use that helps you to figure out what size will work with your picture. And then I'm going to take the blade and just cut around it and it's going to create the circle. One of the things that I love about this system is that you can see exactly where you're going to cut before you cut it. And uh, it's really great for cutting pictures into different shapes. And Creative Memories currently has five different pattern sets that you could purchase. There's the circles, the rectangles, the gemstones, the ovals, and then the jumbo circle. So I am a Creative Memories advisor and I will have the link to my Creative Memory store in the description below. And also I'll have links to all of the other products and tools that I use that I feature in this video. I usually try to put links to everything that I can find on the internet in the description. So if you're looking for anything, look there. And if you have any questions, please leave me a comment. So the next thing that I'm gonna work on is my title. And so I got out some of my thickers and I'm just going through these and looking to see which ones I think would suit this layout. And so I did decide to pull out some letters and just try out these three different alphas. I really love this one, which is kind of a light wood grain with a glitter gold outline. And I really thought that suited this layout. I also had the yellow and that was really pretty. And then I had the gold foil and I didn't think that that gold foil really suited the look and feel. So I did put that one back and I hadn't decided yet whether I was gonna use the yellow alpha or the wood grain gold glitter alpha. I liked both of them, uh, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and figure out what papers I'm gonna use to map my photo. And then that will help me to decide which alpha to choose for my title. I really love this yellow plaid paper and decided to use that to map my photo. 
And so that pretty much eliminated that yellow alpha because I thought it would look better if I used something that had a little bit more contrast. Okay, so now I'm going to cut out my circle out of this yellow paper and I'm using the Creative Memory Circle Cutter to cut out this circle. I think this circle cutter is really awesome. You can cut circles from three inches all the way up to 11 and three quarter inches. It's really easy to use and I just love that tool. It's super awesome. Okay, so now that I have my photo matted, I'm going to start playing around with some of the flowers and embellishments, trying to figure out how I'm going to put this layout together so that I can figure out my picture placement and also if my title is going to fit around the circle. So anytime I have a circle on a layout, I love to try to put the title going around the circle. I just love the way it looks and it's just a lot of fun. It's super easy to add a title like this around the circle because you have something to guide you on the letter placement. So as I'm putting these letters here, uh, my title is going to be My Yorkie Girls. And uh, when I got to about right there, I realized that it probably was not going to fit on this layout. I did try to shift the picture down just to give myself a little bit more room. But in the end, I know that it's probably not going to work. So I did think a little bit about changing the title. And I think uh, I was going to uh, change the title to My Sweet Girls. But that didn't fit either. <laughs> and uh, so I knew that I wasn't going to be able to get that title around there and also have room for my flowers at the bottom of the layout. So I went back uh, to my thickers and I looked through some more thickers and I found these uh, thickers that have little polka dots. It's a white background with little black polka dots and it's really a cute thicker. And so those are a little bit skinnier, the font. So those will work so much better for the title for this layout. So I wanted to add another layer behind my photo and just give a little bit more contrast between the photo and the mat that was underneath it. So I decided to cut out another circle out of this green cardstock and I'm going to layer these uh, circles underneath the photo. And I love the pop of color behind the photo. It really makes the photo stand out and become the focal point on this layout. Okay, so now that I have my photo matted, I'm going to try this alpha to make sure that this uh, fits really well on the background. And I decided to go with the title, My Sweet Girls. And I'm uh, just going to go ahead and start uh, gluing all this together and just layering this photo on top of these photo mats. Okay, so now that I have my title and my photo on this layout, I can go ahead and start working on the embellishments. One of the first things that I found as I was looking through the chipboard pieces that come with this collection from Stamperia is the little birdhouse. And I had turned the paper so that branch with the flowers was kind of hanging uh, over the top of the layout. I thought it looked like a branch from a tree. And so when I put the birdhouse there, I thought that was really cute because it looks like it's hanging off the tree. <laughs> And uh, I'm going to build a cluster there on the top left hand corner. Now my original thought for this layout was that I would put these tulips along the entire bottom half of the layout. But as I was going through and uh, putting these flowers together, I realized that uh, if I did that, the flowers would cover up quite a bit of my picture. And so I'm going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to build two clusters, one on the bottom left hand side of the layout and one on the bottom right side of the layout and just kind of group some flowers on uh, either side. And that will leave the bottom of the picture free. And I'm going to add a few things there later. Now I did think about using that little banner that says love with the paw print. But in the end, I'm going to end up not using it. It just didn't really look right there. It didn't, I, I couldn't really find a good place to put that. And so I am going to eliminate that. Okay, here I'm working with the different flowers. I'm adding on all of the leaves. And one of the things that I decided to do with these flowers, I cut out additional stems because the stem was very thin and the flower was very dimensional. And uh, so I decided to layer the stem uh, multiple times and just create a little bit more, um, I don't know, just strength so that the flowers uh, would be, uh, you know, they wouldn't be too floppy. <laughs> and so I did do that. I did layer 
two pieces of stem together, just glued it together. And I thought that worked really well because the uh, top of the flower has a lot of pieces and it has a lot of dimension. And uh, I thought that that really made the flower look a lot better and also supported uh, the flower on the top. So one of the other things I decided to add to these flowers was a little piece that goes at the bottom of the flower between the stem and the petals. And at uh, first I thought I would put it on top of the flower, but then after going back and looking at the guide for how to put these tulips together, I decided that I would go ahead and put it underneath between the stem and the flower. I just love that that added just a little bit more detail. It made the flower look more realistic and uh, you didn't have to put that on there, but I just uh, decided to go ahead and add that on. And I uh, just wanted to make these uh, look as cute as I could. <laughs> I love these tulips, but I did struggle a bit with trying to figure out how to layer them to create the cluster on this layout and to make it look natural. I kind of wanted it to make it look like there were just tulips coming from the ground and just growing uh, at the bottom of the layout. <laughs> and it was a little bit of a challenge. I did think about uh, putting them at the very bottom and maybe chopping the ends off. Uh, but I love the shape of the leaves at the bottom. And so I wanted to keep that. Uh, and I just kept working with it and you know, playing with it until I figured out how to uh, layer the flowers on there and stagger them so that I can make it look like the flowers were just growing there at the bottom of the layout. <laughs> I do like to keep a lot of my embellishments together by themes and I have a bin with a bunch of dog embellishments and so I just decided to look through those and to see if I could find something that I thought would go with this layout. And I am going to use some of the ephemera from the Bella Boulevard Cooper collection. I also had a doodle pop from that same collection that I'm going to use. And any time that I go shopping for scrapbooking supplies, I'm always on the lookout for anything that has dogs for a pet theme. And so I have a lot of things from a lot of different companies and a lot of different collections. And so it's always a lot of fun to go through there and see if I can figure out something to use whenever I create a layout with my dogs. And I was really happy to have that Bella Boulevard collection because it did, it really suited the look and feel of this layout. And the colors went so well with all of the colors that I had already chosen for this layout. I also looked through this DCWV Playful Pets ephemera and I found that little dog house. I just think that's super cute and I am going to end up using that at the bottom of my layout. And there's that little doodle pop from Bella Boulevard with that little dog. That was just super adorable and perfect. It just went really well and I was really happy to find that in my stash. And as I'm going through these different pieces from the Bella Boulevard Cooper collection, I'm just looking for things that I think would suit the look and feel and have similar colors to the colors that I have going on. And I was able to find a bunch of word quotes and just different uh, little sayings. I found a banner that had the word love on it. And then I also found a little green banner that says 100% cute. And right under that, I have hashtag dog lover. And then on the right hand side, I found a little orange flag that said sweet dog. And I just love all of those little work quotes that I was able to find that were part of that Bella Boulevard Cooper collection. So I'm trying to figure out where to place this little doodle pop. I keep calling it a doodle pop. It's actually a Bella pop. And I wanted to try to figure out a place for that, but it was a sticker. And so to get the stickiness off, I used my powder tool and I just uh, applied that to the back so that I could move that little dog around until I figured out where I wanted him to go before I stuck him down. And I'm really happy that I did that because I probably would have gotten that sticker stuck on my photo. <laughs> okay, I love using dimension on my layout. And so I pulled in a flare button from my button shop that says sweet. And I thought the colors work perfectly with this layout. 
I also added some foam tape to some of the flowers. I wanted to give them more dimension and to make it look like the flowers were at different levels. I think that when you're building clusters with flowers, it looks more natural to have some of the flowers flat to your layout, but then pop some of them up and overlap them. And it makes it look like it's really a bouquet. And so I thought that was uh, really cute to have some of them uh, popped up. Okay, so I am building the cluster there at the top with that birdhouse. And I thought it looked a little bit strange just floating there at the top of the layout. So I decided that I would use some twine and I wanted the twine to look like rope. So I pulled out this natural twine and I'm just going to tie a loop and hang it there above the birdhouse and make the birdhouse look like it's hanging from the tree. So I'm just going to loop this, tie it into a knot and just glue it onto the layout. I wanted to add to that cluster with the birdhouse. I'm just going back through the ephemera and I found this piece that pulls in more of the yellow and also a word quote that has pink. And I love that com color combination up there at the top of the layout. I also decided that I wanted to add some leaves around the birdhouse just to add some more green underneath, make it stand out a little bit more from the background. So I used some of the dyes from the layered lilies to create some leaves that I could layer underneath that birdhouse. So now that I figured out the placement of everything on my layout, I just took everything off the layout. I took a picture first, took everything off the layout, and then went ahead and glued everything on. And I just skipped forward in this scrapbook process video so that y'all wouldn't have to just watch me <laughs> glue everything down. Uh, but uh, I really love the way that the flowers turned out at the uh, bottom of the layout. And I just think that they're super pretty. I'm going through here and just adding some more foam tape and just a little bit more dimension, just making the flowers pop off more from the background. And I did build the cluster there at the top and overlapped the little work quotes. I just thought that that really turned out cute with that birdhouse. So we're ready to just add some finishing touches. And I got out some enamel dots from Gina Murray Designs. And I just love these enamel dots. They're super pretty. And I was able to find some that were orange, yellow, and green. And I added those enamel dots in three different places in three different colors and sizes. And I just love to use uh, enamel dots on my layouts. Okay, so let's see, what else did I do? So one of the things that I did not really like about the doghouse was it has a blue, kind of a blue-green heart. And that color did not go with this layout at all. And I thought it would be fun if I could just find something to put on top of that heart and to make it fit in a little bit better with the rest of the things that I used on this layout. So I used some puppy stickers from the Pebbles Girl Squad collection and I layered a flower on top of that heart and I think that looks super cute. I also found a little puppy sticker that says hashtag Girl Squad and then below that I have a sticker that says Puppy Love. So I do have a short video clip of my two dogs, Bella and Lily Bell, that I'm going to share with you guys, and it's at the end of this video. So if you want to see that, stick around to the end. Here are some close-ups of my layout. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the scrapbook process video for how I created this layout using the new dies from the Spellbinders Layered Floor Bouquet Slimlines Collection by Becca Feakin. Okay, so if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up because that helps me to know what videos you'll like to watch on my channel. It also helps YouTube to know which videos to recommend to other viewers. And if you're not already subscribed and you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe. I would love to have you join my channel. Okay, you guys, that's all I have. Y'all take care. Hope y'all have an awesome weekend and I hope to see you next time. Bye now.
Hi girls, what y'all doing? Can you say hi to the YouTube people? What have y'all been up to today? Yeah? Can you say hi? And what else? Yep, mama's been walking around on crutches, right? <laughs> yeah, but I've been getting better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had a little knee surgery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a minor. <laughs> yeah. Bella and Lily Bella have been following me around and just giving me these little looks like they just don't understand why I have. <laughs> why I'm using crutches. I know. Say, but now I'm, I'm actually walking around without them. Yeah. Say, it's healing fast. Mm hmm. Only had to use those crutches for a few days. Yeah. Uh -huh. You didn't like those crutches, huh? No. But I'm going to be good. It'll get all healed and, uh, yeah. It'll be good. Where are you going, Miss Bella? <laughs> Hi, Betty Bill. What you up to, Missy? She's been looking very concerned, and uh, I think they're both confused about what's going on. <laughs> but they did get a visit from, from my mom, uh, their grandma, and they love having her here because she just spoils them rotten. She feeds them chicken and turkey and cheese and scrambled eggs, and she gives them lots of treats. <laughs> so they were very sad to see her leave. <laughs> Yep, have to go back on your low-fat diet after Grandma left. Yeah. Yeah, they weren't too happy with that. <laughs> but all that extra food is not good. You can you would get very chubby, Miss Bella. Mm -hmm. But it was nice having Grandma come to say, huh? It was very nice having her come stay with us. <laughs> yes. Okay, would you like to say anything else to the YouTube people? <laughs> yeah? What else? Yeah? <laughs> You're so sweet. Would y'all like a treat? You would? Okay, I can go get you a treat. Okay, I'm going to go get it right now. Y'all wait right here and I'll be right back, okay? Okay, you ready for your treat? <laughs> you are? Okay, can you down? That's an up, Miss Lillibel. Can you sit? <laughs> can you down? Good job. Down. <laughs> Y'all are not being very cooperative. <laughs> go down and right back up. Down. Good job, Lily Bell. But you got to stay down. Down. Good girls. Awesome. Yay. Whoops. There you go, Miss Bella. <laughs> I dropped it. <laughs> Bye, Lily Bell. <laughs> okay, well, that's all we have. Hope y'all have an awesome week, and we hope to see you next time. Bye now. <laughs>